Hey everybody and welcome to Fashion Bashing. This week we're doing the Oscars, so let's get started. First up we have Amateus, Sammy Karam, and Mashallah Maji- oh, This is insane, these names. These are, This is as insane as the goddamn dress. Most of these names I'm just gonna butcher, so I probably might not even say them and just be like, this one, so I hope you can handle that. Oh, this is nice. I didn't realize we had people from outer space in attendance. I thought the guest list was limited to Earth this year. They're asking her questions like, what planet are you wearing? I do notice she doesn't have a very big Milky Way, though. Well, she looks out of this world. Oh, this is cute. Up next, we have Chadwick Boseman here. This one looks like he tried as hard as he could to look cool, but was only allowed to use stuff from his mother's closet. What? The hell is that? Look at that scarf. I'm pretty sure my mother had that. Sexy woman circa 1980. This is Cicely Tyson. This one actually comes with a warning that there's no smoking within 500 feet of this dress. <laughs> <laughs> one amber. This woman is toast. Why does it look like there's a bunch of Indian legs that make up this woman? Like how many Indian knees do you have? Very flammable. Just keep away that peace pipe. Next up we have Danny Guerrera. I look at this and I think crinkle. It looks noisy. I feel like everybody knows when she sits down. Someone's stuffing newspapers in a trash can? Nah, nah, she sat down. Up next we have D. Oclopo and Tommy Hilfiger. Ah, oh, come on. This idiot just looks like he's inside out. <laughs> Doesn't he? Like, what? even the slippers seem reversed. What are you doing? I feel like this guy was cleaning out the lint from his pocket one day, turned it inside out, was like, I have an idea. Fuck you and you're wearing the lining. I feel upset about him. All right, now this is Donna Jordan and Michael B. Jordan. All right, now first of all, let me say something. I am not in the business of making fun of moms. You better goddamn not be. I'm usually not, but I have to ask, what am I looking at? Is that like slivers of her? I can see through the dress, what? What do we got going on here? It looks like something hanging in a deli window. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, man. You want me to get two slices of mozzarella? Hey, provolone. Up next, we have Eva Melander. <laughs> if that's Melander. <laughs> I'm not even trying with the names. You know what? I'm not here to tell you who the people are. I'm here to make fun of what they're wearing. And let's just stick to one goal per video, shall we? This dress looks like it's arguing with itself, doesn't it? Like the pants are saying, we're a confident woman going to the office. But the rest of it's like, night out on the town, betches. <laughs> right? But I have to hand it to her. She's pulling off the dress energy perfectly, see? At the bottom half, she looks posed. Take a look at the face. Drunk. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on with this shit. Look at this. Who is this? Gemma. Gemma Chan, Gemma Chan. Uh, this is Valentino Couture. I don't even know why these people are putting their names on these dresses. This shit would be my biggest secret if I designed this. She looks like she rolled out of bed and brought most of it with her. And it looks like a, if a unicorn had a duvet cover. <laughs> and there's no poof in between. And not to mention what a weird angle for that pocket because it looks like she had her hand chopped off. I'm not kidding. I thought they Game of thrones her ass on the red carpet. <laughs> Next up we have Holland Taylor and oh god dear Jesus forget the dress this one looks like she's going to her own funeral why did they do that to her makeup how would you like to look this evening honey embalmed what you shouldn't do that uh, next up we have Jason uh Mamon Moma Mo Moma Moma I don't know I'm just offended that I share a name with this moron I mean that's a very primal pose isn't it <laughs> They look like they put a suit on the middle guy in the evolutionary chart. <laughs> How ridiculous. Here we got uh, J-Lo and A-Rod. For some reason, J-Lo kind of looks like they dropped a disco ball and glued it back together. What the hell is it? You've ever smashed safety glass? That's exactly what it does, like a windshield or something. It doesn't break apart, it just kind of stays there. Look, even A-Rod, he's starting to get concerned. You can tell he's starting to cover his junk up a little bit, like, I hope she doesn't cut me, you know? Next up, we got Jessica Oi. Oyelawo? Oyelawo? Are they just fucking with us now? I think celebrities are changing their names to make it harder. She's probably like Jessica Smith, and they're like, fuck that. This 
is unfortunate. Did everyone see when she walked by the pastries and a guy sneezed? <laughs> That's what this looks like right here. I'm surprised nobody tried to snort her at the after parties. What a stupid, here's just a spattering of, of white paint. Let's just splatter your stomach. It's like what a tortured artist would put in his loft. Get it off your tummy. Here is a uh, Kigo Mike and Key and Elisa Pugulis. Pug, Pugulis? <laughs> Kinda looks like a pug. <laughs> but besides that, he looks like he rolled her up in a picnic tablecloth and said, let's go. What the hell is that, vinyl? You know how some dresses are dry clean only? This one just says, Windex and paper towel. You can get wine or ketchup out in a snap. I feel like the sham wow guy could do her laundry. Here we go, here's another one with this goddamn, what is this one here? Who's this? Hang on, I gotta check notes here because I don't know who the fuck any of these people are. Molly Sims. Why is it all the, what is with all the women in the chrome dresses? Why do you ladies want to look like a 1950s diner? You have more chrome than an old caddy. What are you doing? It's just fucking stupid. But speaking of stupid, we have a new contestant. Who the hell is this? Nicole Holofsener? Hol Holofsener? Holofsener? I don't know. What did, what did she go? Is a Quaker? What the hell is she doing here? By the way, this was her last year. <laughs> Up next, we have uh, Pharrell Williams and Helen. You know what? I'm not even going to say this one. Helen Lechot, Lechot, Le, last sick chan, last sick chan. I don't know. All that I know is I think it's cool that some people still make their own clothes. <laughs> Sir, stop, me, stop it. <clears throat> they literally look like they found this shit at an out of the closet, and not even like in the good section. This stuff was not hanging up. This shit was in bins. <laughs> oh my god, who the hell is this? <laughs> god, Sarah Paulson. Holy shit, this one looks actually slow. You know what she looks like? Oh my God. She looks like Kristen Wiig's tardy character from SNL. Doesn't she? <laughs> How big are those hands? Here is uh, Linda Cardellini. Cardellini. See, well, the Italian thing, even though that's a little difficult, I feel like I might've been a little closer. <laughs> Come on. This one looks like she just popped out of a cake to sing happy birthday, didn't she? She's like the Oscars. I thought it was Oscars bachelor party. Up next we have uh, Deborah Davis. Um, this one just looks like she's having an allergic reaction to the dress, right? Doesn't she? The sp What's happening on her arm? She's like, geez, I hope Benadryl makes a shawl. Up next we have uh, Billy Porter. Yes, tens girl. <laughs> I'd say this dress was a full blown success. <laughs> That's terrible. If you guys watch Pose, you'll understand that joke. That was in bad taste. Up next we have Diane Warren. What did she think, the Oscars were in Warsaw? Why, she looks very cold. Why do I feel like she may have arrived on a dog sled? <laughs> I've been aboard! All right, and lastly we got Lucy Boynton, who I think it is just good to see someone finally finding inspiration from Disney's Evil Queen. That is the last time I saw that particular shade of purple. All right, everybody, that is all for Fashion Bashing Oscars edition. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. Thank you to all the celebrities who were such good sports. I feel like I should just at this point say that. <laughs> I will see you for your next stylish event. I'll be the asshole making fun of things. All right, love you, bye.